Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Abel here, and today we're going to be talking about the new Apple TV 4K that was released a couple of weeks ago. And because this is a gaming channel, we're going to dive in and get a little idea of the gaming aspect of that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so let's talk about specs. So the new Apple TV is going to come with that new A12 Bionic chip, which is a 64-bit architecture. It is a step up to the A10X that was in the previous 4K model. And one more thing, this does come with Wi-Fi 6, so I do expect, you know, people who actually have those new Wi-Fi 6 routers to be able to get faster download speeds when it comes to those uh, huge gigabyte uh, type of games that are, are inside of the App Store. But for the most part, uh, a lot of this stuff is really just the same, um, same design overall we got a fan at the bottom um, same like I said HDMI port we have well not the same it's been upgraded a little bit but you know in the places that were previously we still have the gigabit Ethernet port so the power supply and HDMI slot uh, with the fan at the bottom so there's not too much there's well in terms of like hardware wise looking at it it's exactly the same so there's not much change there but one of the biggest things that did change with the new Apple TV 4k is going to be this new Siri remote that was released with it with a brand new design so uh, I do prefer this in terms of just a controller design when watching movies and TVs shows and all that stuff but the biggest thing that I uh, did want to point out looking at the gaming aspect of this is that this no longer has an accelerometer see the old Siri remotes had a, an accelerometer in it that meant that you could play racing games out of the box and things like that and I think what Apple was going for in this model is the ability for you to go out and you know if you already have a controller if you already have a ps4 xbox controller uh you just go ahead and use that controller on your apple tv since apple now supports those controllers or you can go out and just purchase like a nimbus uh it's one thing that i use because of the lightning port that's inside of it it's a wonderful device it's called the nimbus plus um and I think that's the biggest thing that they really were trying to push for. So now when you do get this, you know, when you do go out and get the Apple TV, uh, it won't have that accelerometer inside of the Siri remote. And I'll keep in mind that even if you do end up purchasing the older version of the Apple TV, the HD version, it's still going to come with this new Siri remote. So you, you have to, you know, keep that in mind when, when making that purchase because you can play Crossy Road out of the box, but you won't be able to play like, uh, what is that? Asphalt 9 out of the box so just just the little thing right there so if you have a controller great but you you know if this if you are getting this for gaming as well you may want to pick up a controller now diving in and going back to talking about the older hd apple tv that's still on sale on um, the 4k version that was just released is replacing uh the 2017 model for 149 i feel like that 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 device is so incapable uh with the, what is it like an a6 a8 pro i don't even know what the processor is anymore like the, the processor is just old okay it was i think it was like in an iphone 6 uh it yeah what can i say man that i think it struggles and i'm going to show you some things in this video comparing the new apple tv 4k versus the old hd model if you're still holding on to that hd model maybe this will video will help you kind of decide like hey maybe it's time to upgrade because these games they're just not uh, they're not built for that kind of processor so Let's go ahead and just look at some of these clips right here that we have. Uh, first off, we have the last campfire. You can see in the video uh, between the two, we have uh, textures and things like that that are kind of blurry. There's a little flickering uh, that you can kind of see on the ground if you really pay attention to it versus the other one where the everything is just clear, it's crisp on the new Apple TV 4K. And uh, yeah, that's an obvious difference. Next, we have uh, the NBA 2K. Uh, this is going to be that Apple Arcade version that was released not too long ago. And uh, we're going to be paying attention to a few things. Uh, a, we got the load time between the two. You'll definitely see that the load times are very, hmm, yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even bother putting a timer in here. You'll see how long it takes the Apple TV HD versus the new 4K version. But then after that, what we'll have is uh, pretty much you can see in the background uh, of one version, we have the the crowd in the back you can see them back there right and they are uh, well they're not there you can see because of the the graphical performance they actually cannot have audience members they can't have fans out there in the in the seats and stuff like that so uh you can also see in the courtroom floor on the older hd version there is no 
uh, there are no highlights. There's no um, reflections from the ground. When you have the lights up, the LED lights flashing everywhere uh, when you're inside of an actual basketball court versus the other version where you can see all that on the floor and it just looks spectacular and amazing. And next we have Beyond a Steel Sky. This is gonna be a huge difference in between uh, just doing, going through and walking through this crowd here. You'll see the crowd is pretty much similar, but you'll see that the the colors, the, graph, the graphics of it just look completely different. Just, just check it out. Now, I really didn't bother too much to put in the, the differences between the A12 and the A10. Um, I didn't personally, when I did my testing, I did not notice much. One thing I did notice and I find very interesting. So for whatever reason, when playing Beyond Blue, uh, the differences between the A10 and the A12, you I see more fish on the A12. Uh, for whatever reason, I can see more items, more things on the ground, more fish when comparing the A12 to the A10. But like I said, there isn't too much of a difference in I, the A10, A12, not too much of a, a difference there. So if you do have that old, uh, older Apple TV 4K version, I honestly personally don't think it's worth upgrading right now. That's just me. So that actually leads me to question, what was the point in upgrading this if there wasn't too much to add on to it? Um, and when looking at, you know, comparing the old Apple TV 4K to the new one, there were some slight differences that, you know, were added to this new version to uh, using this new processor and things like that, that are very TV and movie specific. Uh, not too much in terms of gaming is, is helped out with this new version of the Apple TV 4K. So I asked myself, why didn't they do anything like putting an A14 processor that can be found on the iPhones or the or, or iPads, uh, those iPad Pros, or the new iPad Pros that come with the M1 processor that Apple just released. So I, I'm a little confused in terms of graphical performance, what they're actually going for. And uh, I just don't think that, like I said, this version is gonna be worth an upgrade if you have an older Apple TV 4K. And if you really wanted just to get the Siri remote, I mean, they they you can buy this separately and then just hook it up to your, your older Apple TV. The one thing that I did think about is that I feel like it came down to Price. When comparing the two, they kept the price model the same between you know the old version and the new version. The new version starting out at 179, and then um, for 64 gigabytes you get 200, so a little twenty dollar difference there. The reason why I say it has to do with price is because I don't think anybody is willing at this moment to go out and purchase a two hundred fifty dollar, three hundred dollar Apple TV box when you can get for the same price, PlayStation, Xbox, there is nothing in Apple Arcade currently that would warrant somebody to go, okay, cool, maybe, maybe I can, I can, you know, maybe that just sways me a little bit in my buying decision. Maybe I'll get an Apple TV. And the fact that it doesn't come with a controller as well that's sold separately, you have to purchase, you know, a new controller. Maybe you have a controller you can use it on there. That's great. But I think it d definitely came down to price on uh, the decision making of putting an A12 versus putting an A14 or an M1 inside of that thing. But that doesn't stop the rumors, right? There are rumors that uh, Apple is working on a, a console focused device uh, coming out maybe in 2021, maybe 2022. Who actually knows, right? The, the, the rumors have been stacking up on what they're doing. They're possibly working on a controller. They're possibly 
adding a14 a14x m1 who knows what the process is going to be but the rumors are swirling around that apple is working on something bigger for gaming and personally i just don't believe that to be true unless apple is working um side by side with some of the bigger gaming companies like ea uh bethesda just whoever some big name companies to actually release some games that actually make sense when playing on an m1 or an eight uh, a14 processor but with all those rumors i tend to just sit there and focus on what is happening today because you know work, working on what's on tomorrow isn't going to help anything at all right now when looking at apple and what they're really focused on it seems like they are focused on movie and television with them you know making all these purchases you get a lot of things coming out from apple their their studio production things like that some great content uh on apple tv plus and i think that is the main focus right now and gaming unfortunately is just going to be second for them that's going to be the end of this video please give it a like if you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe for more i'm going to try to give up some more content now that i have a, a new apple tv 4k i'm going to try to give you guys some more uh, apple arcade content showing off some of these games so these games are truly amazing um in the design and how how these creators and developers build these worlds that they've been creating for this uh for this platform so yeah check that out i'll catch you guys on the next one stay wild gamers